It's a long flight across the ocean from South America. Drug planes flying low to avoid detection. Little do they know, they're being followed. The Coast Guard trains for this type of mission 10 times a year. It's a really high risk maneuver. And 7 News was invited to go along. It's critical that we do these training maneuvers so that we're out there on a dark night getting launched at 3 o'clock in the morning out of some Caribbean island that uh, we are as proficient as we could possibly be. Falcon jets are launched after the military detects a suspicious target on radar. For our training scenario, our target is another Falcon jet. I got him inside. Keep it going. Right, we have another Falcon up on the clear. Roger. On board, two pilots, an observer. I'm watching out for other aircraft. And someone in the back to run the radar and the infrared camera called FLIR. Right now we're getting we're closing in on the, uh, the Falcon that's acting as the uh, suspect aircraft. Ready to get in and see if we can pick some numbers off of them. That's the goal. Get as close as possible without being detected to gather crucial information like tail numbers, paint colors, even a possible description of the pilot. Okay, so this is the ID position right here. It's a pretty good ID position. We kick out like this and check out the uh, ID on the, on the uh, suspect aircraft. When the stakes are for real, the pilot of the slow-moving drug plane has no idea he's being followed by a fast jet. And that's what makes this mission so dangerous for the Falcon crew. Our pilots have to be ready for any, so, any sort of maneuver that that plane may do in order to ensure our air crew can do its job without hurting themselves. In February, off the coast of the Middle Keys, two Coast Guard auxiliarists lost their lives in an air intercept training mishap. They were piloting a Cessna being chased by a Falcon jet. The Falcon jet out flying with them overheard them say they went into uh, some clouds inadvertently. And that's the last radio transmission that was heard from that aircraft. The fatal accident remains under investigation. As a result, all air intercept training missions are now done with only Falcon jets. We try to sneak up behind him, get as much information as we can. But typically, once I move in and get that ID, I'm dropping back and getting out of his way, just tracking him in. For our training scenario, we track the other Falcon jet all the way to a landing strip in Homestead. And that's how you do an air intercept. That's it. It's almost like air combat without shooting anybody. You've got control. You. But it's not that easy. With my hands on the controls, you could really feel the power of the jet as we zipped along at more than 250 knots. Okay. There you go. Now we're going to center them up. We're just going to make sure visually we stay right behind them and try not to be able to be seen. You see? I was, I was a little, uh, little nerve wracking there because you're moving so fast. Yeah, it's fast, doesn't it? There's a lot going on at once, and you've got to be on top of it all. Sneaking out, especially at night, you get the adrenaline going. You watch the radar, find the target, get the info, then sit back and track him in for a landing. Target aircraft has landed. On special assignment, I'm Brian Andrews, 7 News.